Marson's Domain. Hey everyone, Marson here. And today I want to talk about King K Rule because I've gone back and forth on my viability video on him and that viability doesn't matter. And previously I had said that I don't really think he's viable in the meta and I privated that video. I'm honestly at the point now where I think my role as a King K Rule player is to just try to push the character. I myself am not going to be the one that is beating these Palutenas, that is beating these Pikachus. Sometimes I do it on quick play, but in terms of tournaments, I'm not going to be that person. I just kind of see myself as the K Rule coach now, and I'm fine with that. But the reason why I wanted to make this video is because I'm at the point where I don't know where this character's future is. And honestly, I think he does need buffs to be viable in this game. I'm not going to backtrack on that statement. I backtracked on it recently, and I've been playing the game again, and I honestly just don't think he is viable in the meta. I don't. And I'm going to get hate for it. I'm going to get hate for the fact that I'm switching my mind so much, and I'm going to get hate from people that just think that I shouldn't be saying this or that I'm wrong. And you know what? That's fine because I'm not going to tiptoe around this anymore. I wasn't tiptoeing around it when I made that not viable video. But after a while, I kind of honestly backtracked on it. A part of me honestly did let the criticism get to me. And normally I don't. Normally I just say whatever it is I'm going to say. And that's just kind of how it is. And I think that's why a lot of you guys watch me because I'm just very straightforward when I talk about stuff. But I think this was one thing where I got so many people that just kind of disagreed with me and were really ridiculing the gameplay that I put in the video and just what I was saying and all this stuff. And it's like, you know what? Then why don't you go to a tournament and you start beating these top PGR players? Why don't you go do it then? Because I don't think you will. And that's where my stance is now. The top tiers are way too overwhelming for K. Rule to deal with. They are. And I still think that K. Rule making it far in a tournament completely relies on his bracket. If he had a pool of all Palutenas, I don't think he's getting out of it. And the thing is, with all of this, if he does, then that's good and hype as hell. That's my thing. Just because I'm saying this doesn't mean that every single person playing K. Rule should drop him. That's not what that means. It just means that I personally do not think that he's viable in the current meta. I don't. He has way too many flaws. And he definitely needs buffs. He really, really does. He is so clearly bad. There's a reason why all top players put him at the bottom for the most part. There's always that few random tier lists that he's not at the bottom, but that's always going to happen because it's just people's opinions. But there's a reason why top players don't play him. There's a reason why top players think that he's bad. Fatality made a video where he was fighting at K. Rule, and he was like, I don't even think you're doing anything bad. K. Rule literally just can't do anything about this. And he just destroyed him. K. Rule has way too many problems to be viable in the current meta, and I'm not backtracking on that. I'm not tiptoeing around that. I'll probably leave that other video privated. I don't know. Maybe I'll unprivate it if you want to just go back and watch it just to see what I had to say because I go more in depth on K. Rule's flaws, but it is what it is, and I see myself as the K. Rule coach. I'm still going to try to push the character. I'm still going to try to make quick tip videos. I'm still going to play Smash. I'm still going to try to help other people who play K. Rule. I like when I get comments saying that I inspire them to play K. Rule. I inspire them to keep going with K. Rule. I love all of that. I don't want the K. Rule hype to die off. It's just that I think that people really need to be honest about this character. It is fun to fight for this character, but at the same time, he's not that great of a character. He has some strengths to him for sure, but he has way too many flaws to be viable in the current meta. And again, if he wins a tournament, that doesn't really negate what I'm saying, because it would be such an upward battle for him to win a tournament. And I know everyone's just going to bring up the Ben Gold tournament, but in no offense to him, he could probably kick my ass. It has nothing to do with his skill level. I want to see how he does against all the PGR players. I want to see how he does in these big tournaments with the PGR players there. I'm not saying that the players that were at the tournament that he was at were bad. I'm not saying that at all. But... I do think that bracket, pool, and players matter a ton on K. Rule's placing in tournaments. I really do. And if Ben Gold goes to one of these big tournaments and wins, that would be insanely hype and awesome as hell. But we have to wait to see if that happens. And even if it does happen, I think that people are just going to go, okay, I really do have to learn this matchup. They'll learn the matchup. And he's going to have an even harder time winning another tournament. So I think there's a lot of factors to when a K. Rule wins a tournament. And I think that people use that one tournament to go, see, it's fine, he's viable, but I don't think that's how this works. 
And I think that's kind of true to how Nairo's Bowser was in Smash 4. When he busted that character out, he was beating people like crazy. But then he started bringing him out more and he wasn't really winning as much with Bowser at all. And Bowser's obviously way better in Ultimate and that's just a whole different thing. But in Smash 4, Bowser had his flaws and he was only even semi-viable when they gave him a buff and they gave him his new up throw. So there's a lot of factors to this and I'm going to probably put gameplay in this video and you can go ahead and critique it. You can go ahead and say whatever you want. I just want to put gameplay in the video so there's gameplay. I'm not going to feel ashamed or embarrassed by what gameplay I put. You can critique whatever you want. I'm going to say what I want to say about this character. I don't think he's viable in the current meta. This video is staying up. It can get a million dislikes. I don't care. Other K. Rule mains that know the struggle of K. Rule know what I'm talking about and know that this is how it is. So this is probably going to be my final video on this stuff. And I would like to reiterate again that this does not mean that you should drop the character and this does not mean that you should just give up on the game entirely. It's all based on what you want to do. If you want to deal with the struggle to play the character that you want to play, then keep playing that character. I don't plan to stop playing K. Rule, but I'm also not trying to get top PGR or anything at a tournament. So it's all based on what your goals are and what you want to deal with. Don't go by me talking about my opinions on his viability. Go by what you want to do. So that's all I really have to say about this. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about all this. If you enjoyed this and want to support my content, feel free to subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you all later. Take care, everyone.